Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are at the channel are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. And um, in uh, the first, uh, in, in uh, near the beginning of uh, chapter, uh, uh, chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 23, 24, um, this is where Moses is imploring uh, God, and he's telling the Jewish people how he's imploring God. The Or HaChaim, Rabbi Chaim Ibn uh, Attar, uh, uses this opportunity uh, to comment on the nature of prayer. And um, he says this, There are four conditions that are necessary for a prayer to be uh, accepted by God. The first condition is that the person pray like a pauper who knocks on a door um, asking for alms. Where does he get this? It's stated in Proverbs 18.23, a pauper utters supplication. So he's making a connection between uh, somebody coming to the door and asking for alms and somebody asking something from Hashem. The second condition is that one should beseech the source of mercy, God being the source of mercy, and um, we're asking God to invoke his, uh, his sense of mercy, his attribute of mercy. Uh, the third condition is that someone should pray at an opportune time, the proper time for prayer. And uh, where does he get this? King David in Psalms 69.14, As for me, may my prayer to you, Hashem, be at an opportune time. So he says, you've got to pick the right time. And the fourth condition is that one's prayer should be explicit and not be capable of being interpreted incorrectly. And he cites a medrash from... Uh, that was written as a commentary on the book of Esther. There was a poor Jew who was walking, 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 and he was tired, he was so tired. And he, he reaches out to Hashem, he begs Hashem, he says, please, Rabbi Nishalele, Master of the Universe, may I please have a donkey? Because I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm so exhausted. Sure enough, just as he was finished praying, along comes a Gentile, an idolater, who had a donkey. Not only did he have a donkey, but that donkey just gave birth to a very, very tiny little foal, a newborn donkey. Still a little shaky on its legs. So what happens? The Gentile gets off his donkey, and the guy's, oh, fantastic, this is great. The idolater says, hey, you, come over here. And he takes the little foal of the donkey and he puts it on the Jew's shoulder and makes the Jew carry it. And he's sitting there, you know, exhausted, dead on his feet with his little baby donkey on his neck. And he says, Shalalem, I asked you for a donkey. And that was all. But what I didn't say is I wanted a doc donkey to ride on, not a donkey to ride on me. So be specific. Don't be afraid to be specific. Again, you, God's not a heavenly celestial Santa Claus. You don't give him you know, a wish list. But if you are praying for something, don't be shy. Be specific. Not specific like, please let, give me a million dollars. But if someone is ill, mention the person's name. If you know the condition where the person is, what they're suffering from. Give specifics. It's not like you're going to surprise God with the information. He already knows. But it's important, I've said this many times, it's important to actually speak the words. There's value in actually uttering the words. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.